This video will demonstrate how to complete the United States 2020 Census and the different ways to do so by phone, by internet, as well as by mail. But before getting into that, let's first see what is the 2020 Census. Para los que hablan español, este video explicará cómo hacer el censo de 2020 por llamada, por internet y por correo. Algunas partes de este video serán en inglés y otras serán en español. The 2020 Census is an important study carried out by the government to better identify population size and background to provide services and infrastructure, health services, public services, as well as funding for government efforts to support communities. The 2020 Census also provides information to identify the number of representatives that will represent your local communities in the United States government. Things you should know about the 2020 Census include that there is no legal risk when filling out the Census and that all of your information will remain confidential. Additionally, filling out the 2020 Census is a short process that should take no longer than 10 minutes and can be done by internet, phone, and mail. Y de nuevo, el Censo de 2020 es muy importante. No solamente para identificar el número de representantes en el gobierno de los Estados Unidos, pero también para ayudar a ofrecer servicios a las comunidades de los Estados Unidos. Además, toda la información entregada durante el censo de 2020 quedará confidencial y no hay ningún riesgo legal cuando uno está haciendo su censo de 2020. Para hacer el censo de 2020, uno recibirá un correo en su buzón del gobierno de los Estados Unidos con un código de 12 números para empezar su censo de 2020. So the first thing you will need is your census ID, which will be sent to you by mail. And that will include a 12-digit code that is required to fill out the census. For questions on how to complete the census online or by mail, or else to complete the census by phone, you can call the number 1-844-330-2020. Y si uno quiere hacer el cuestionario del censo de 2020 por correo o por llamada, Uno puede llamar al número de 1-844-468-2020. Y en el censo de 2020 hay preguntas muy básicas sobre el número de personas en su casa o su apartamento, sus orígenes, de dónde viene, como América Latina o Europa, y todo eso Ayuda mucho al gobierno a ofrecer servicios a su familia y a las comunidades locales. You can find the census at the web address of 2020census.gov. When you get to the website, there will be a series of questions asking you about your address, people within your household, as well as questions about those people, and additional final questions before submitting the census and this should all take under 10 minutes. Y para llenar el formulario del censo de 2020 en español por internet, uno puede ir al sitio web de 2020census.gov, lo que se encuentra por abajo de esta página. Y en la esquina arriba a la derecha, se encuentran las opciones para elegir su idioma como escoger inglés o español u otros idiomas. So now I will type 2020 census into my Google search. I will get to the website. And here in the upper right corner, you can select your language. And there's over 50 options, as you can tell. So you can complete the census in your own language to make it easier.
So now, starting from the home page, to start your census, click on the respond button, which will then get you to this page that gives you a getting started guide on your 2020 census. Click next on start questionnaire. And from here, you will fill in the 12 digit census ID code found in your mailbox in the documents sent by the United States government. Y en esas tres cajas, uno puede llenar su código de 12 números que recibieron en el buzón por correo. The, on the first page of the United States Census, you will see a question about are you completing the census for the address listed below, which should be your location. And for our circumstances, the locations are personalized, so they will be blocked out with yellow. To move on to the next page, make sure to click the next button in the lower right corner. En la primera página, le va a preguntar a usted si usted está haciendo formulario para esta ubicación, lo que está bloqueada en esta presentación por razones personales y privadas. Next, you will be asked to fill out your name and telephone number. Y esta parte pregunta sobre su nombre y número de teléfono. Then, the questionnaire will ask, will you be living in your current location by April 1st, 2020? And will you be living there after as well? Y esta página le pregunta a usted si estará viviendo en esta ubicación durante la fecha del 1 de abril 2020. The next question will ask, how many people are living with you in your current location? Esta pregunta quiere saber cuántas personas están viviendo con usted. Afterwards, the census will ask how many people are living with you in your location and what their names are. Y esta parte le pregunta a usted cuáles son los nombres de las personas con quien está viviendo. The next question will ask about ownership of your current location, whether house, apartment, or mobile home, and who is the owner of that home. There will also be following questions about what type of home you live in, whether it is apartment, house, or a mobile home. Y esa parte del censo de 2020 quiere saber quién es el propietario de su casa o de su apartamento. You will then reach a part of the census that is going to ask personal questions about each member of your family or the persons living inside of your location. Las próximas preguntas serán sobre las personas viviendo en su ubicación, como lugares de origen, fechas de nacimiento y preguntas sobre su género. For example, one of the questions will ask you your date of birth. Esta es sobre su fecha de nacimiento. There will also be questions about your gender, whether you identify as male or female. Esta pregunta es sobre su género. Questions will also include where you come from, whether that be Latin America, Europe, the Caribbean, or Africa, or Asia. Esta parte le pregunta a usted sobre sus orígenes. This question will be about your relationship with each person in your household. If they are your mother, father, spouse, friend, or related to you in other kind of ways. Esta parte le pregunta a usted cuáles son las relaciones entre usted y las personas con quien está viviendo. The next question will ask about permanence of your residency. So whether or not members of your current location or home live in other places as well during the year. And you can select if any family members apply and happen to live in other locations outside of your current home. 
Esa parte quiere saber si hay residentes de su ubicación que no son residentes permanentes. At this point, you will have nearly finished your questionnaire, and you will be asked whether or not you want to submit it, or if you want to edit any responses or questions that you think you may have answered incorrectly. Once you submit your questionnaire, you cannot recomplete or redo the United States Census for 2020. Después de haber terminado todas las preguntas del Censo de 2020, uno puede entregar su formulario. Pero después de haber hecho eso, uno no puede hacer su Censo de 2020 de nuevo. If you decide not to complete the census by phone or by web, you can complete the census by mail as the government will send you a form to fill out, which you can mail to the following address, U.S. Census Bureau National Processing Center, 1201 E 10th Street in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Y de nuevo, si uno no quiere hacer el cuestionario del censo de 2020, por teléfono ni por internet, uno puede esperar y recibir un formulario del gobierno que uno tiene que llenar y enviar a esta ubicación. U.S. Census Bureau National Processing Center, 1201 East 10th Street, Jeffersonville, Indiana. Again, for any help while completing your census, you can call the numbers 1-844-330-330. 2020. Y para ayuda en español, el número es 1-844-468-2020. For assistance with the 2020 census, or to complete the census by phone, those two numbers can be found on the census ID information that was sent to you in your mail located here in the highlighted sections of the document. Y aquí en amarillo hay los números de ayuda en la página que recibió usted en su buzón de correo. That is the end of the video, and best of luck with your 2020 census.